All right. Good morning. Hey, so um, friendship autobiography. Um, I would say that uh, I have a f couple of like really close uh, friends um, on that Johnny um, kind of a kind of a level, the sacrificial love, the um, do anything for, go anywhere for, um, really kind of deep uh, kind of commitment. Um, one would definitely be uh, my friend Chris. Um, he served as a mentor for me in youth ministry um, and really as the catalyst um, for uh, helping me continue my seminary degree and push forward to full-time vocational ministry. Um, this guy, as metaphorically as possible, like literally sacrificed uh, for me. Um, when I would come up with excuses about finances or whatever the the case was, he would uh, literally just eliminate them for me to the point to where he said, fine, um, you know, step down from your position uh, with uh, AT&T and go ahead and move in uh, with my wife and I. Um, and, uh, you know, alleviate some of that stress from work and allow you to continue your uh, education that way, um, which was huge for me. Um, I don't think that... I would be here today um, about ready to finish my degree if it wasn't for him, uh, Chris and his wife, uh, agreeing to take me in. Um, and it's, of course, you know, as you live with somebody, you kind of continue to develop that bond um, and that dependency uh, on one another. Um, uh, the really solid talks, the accountability partner uh, side of things. Um, uh, we're just kind of like a natural, uh, natural flow. So to this day, um, he and I talk regularly. Um, we're a little bit further separated from each other at this point, but still have regular conversations, still have those accountability conversations, still uh, uh, would do anything for each other uh, if and when uh, called upon it. Um, another example of the uh, Johnine, uh, am I pronouncing that right, Johnine? Uh, uh, friendship uh, would be my buddy James. Um, not a Christian, um, but this is just one of those like lifelong friends. Um, uh, you know, something that you don't uh, uh, walk away from. I've uh, been developing this relationship for years and years and years. Um, uh, he and I are just kind of on a level, you know, kind of like soulmate wise, um, that uh, 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 is really powerful. Um, we can tell each other anything. Um, he's actually a really good resource for me to go to outside of Christian culture and traditions um, to help me get a fresh perspective on some things sometimes that I might be struggling with that even Chris can't really help me with. Um, on the Pauline side, um, as we look at like going from those like tight inner circles and kind of expanding out, I would say that on the hospitality side, um, I've experienced uh, tremendous friendships within uh, my church context. Um, you know, there are those friends within church that uh, that are there for you and support you, um, uh, especially on the hospitality front. Um, but they might not necessarily be, you know, the inner circle um, kind of uh, kind of people. Um, so yeah, um, there's two really solid. Johnny uh, relationships, I would say, um, uh, friendships uh, in my life, and uh, not to uh, forget about the the much larger net um, of hospitality and um, other friends and support systems that I have kind of going out from there. Um, so yeah, there's my friendship autobiography.